When we look at electrical load data, we need to do this so that we can make sure that our building has enough energy to run it. Now, when we do this, we want to be very, very energy conscious. We want to conserve energy, but that is all done by what we install for equipment and things that run that energy. We need to make sure that we have plenty of energy kind of no matter what the client puts in there. Now, not every architect does things that way. Some drive their clients to be energy efficient. Um, but I was always trained that you have to make sure that you've got plenty of, of backbone for your design. So we're going to make sure that we have plenty. And then if a client can put in energy efficient instruments, they just won't quite use as much although it'll be available. So there's a few things that you need to know. We need to calculate our load data for the equipment that goes in. That's things like lathes and mills and air compressors and things like that. Uh, wall sockets that you're going to plug lights and computers and copiers into and things like that. And then we have electrical load for our lighting. Now our equipment runs into two types there's manufacturing test equipment and hvac equipment and that's what we're going to talk about now when you put in a power panel that's going to supply power to your building and that's what this is all about how do we know to put in a big enough power panel where your main power comes in and then there's a whole bunch of circuit breakers for different circuits to run different things and so that power panel has to be sized enough so that it's got safety shutoffs, but not so huge that, um, that there's no safety. If something goes wrong, it's got to trip the switch. So we need to really look at the KVA, thousands of volt amps. Volt amps are power. How quickly are you using energy? Because you have to get that energy down the wire in a certain amount of time. So KVA, volts times amps, thousands of them. And so it's important to know, you don't, you don't ever, it's hard to figure out. There's no consistent way that equipment manufacturers tell you how much power they need. It's kind of sad. There is no standard way. Some tell you the KVA. Some tell you the volts and amps, and some tell you the horsepower. Those are all helpful measures of power. And so we're going to put this all together and uh, fill it all out so that no matter what somebody gives us, we'll be able to find it out. And in the end, we're going to be worried about KVA, how much power can go through that power panel altogether. So uh, in our manufacturing and test area, we have equipment. We've got some lathes, some mills, some air compressors. Uh, there's a test pool. There's chem lab equipment. There's miscellaneous equipment. So there's all sorts of stuff in there. And there's HVAC equipment that is also uh, a big energy draw. And so we have an air handler for zone one, zone two, zone three. And then we've got exhaust blowers for some of these pieces of equipment. Some of these equipments need ventilated exhaust. So we have to figure all those out. Now, sometimes they give you one and you want to find out the rest. So if you, if they give you the horsepower and the voltage, Let's say the lathe gives me a two horsepower at 230 volts. Then I have to finish filling this out. Okay. And so I need to know how many amps there are so that I can find KVA volts times amps and then divide by a thousand to get KVA. Okay. So how do I find that? Well, I've given you this cool little calculator that if I type in two horsepower at 230 volts, and we don't have to worry about these, just let them go and I can calculate. 
it tells me it's 8.01 amps, so I'll just say that it's 8 amps. And my KVA is equal to volts times amps divided by 1,000. 1.84 KVA. And so this is the goal. You get yourself all the way filled across. Okay, now it might turn out that I, I learned something else. Um, maybe I've got KVA. Okay, maybe I, I know that my mill is 230 volts with um, 6 amps. So I have KVA. It equals volts times amps divided by 1,000. But I want to know how many horsepower that is to finish filling this out. So here's a, a horsepower. Oh, look at that. Kilovolt amps. What did I say it was? I don't remember. 1.38. 1.38. Calculate. That's about a 1.5, 1.48, 1.5 horsepower. Motor on the mill. And so you can see, I'm always going to fill out this entire block. And I'm going to do the same thing over here, too. Now, the only difference, and so these are just little, they're little calculators you can use. If you know some of it, you can use the calculator to find out what's left. And you're just going to do that because different disciplines and different people want to know in different terms. Some people want to know the amps. Some people want to know the volts and amps. Some people just want the KVA. Some people want horsepower. And some people deliver that information to you. So you're going to fill out the whole thing from whatever you can find out. So let's take a look at the lathe and see where we can find out. Let's see. Lathe. Here's the lathe right here. I've given it to you in your electrical loads. And I even highlighted the part. They gave you amps and volts. So a 20 amp circuit size on 230 volts. Okay. And we could get into it and find out lots more about it and all sorts of interesting stuff this more. But this, this kind of tells us enough. 20 amps at 230 volts, 20 amps at 230 volts. And now we can do our calculations. Equals volts times amps divided by 1,000, 4.6 kVA. And for the horsepower, horsepower by kVA. remember what 4.6 five horsepower motor 4.93 you can round that up if you want so that's where you're going to get that information all of these you're going to get the information the lathe the mill and the air compressor you'll get that information from here there's the mill there's the air compressor. The air compressor gave us volts and amps. Bridgeport Mill gave us, let's see if it tells us in here somewhere. It does in here somewhere. Three horsepower. Right there. Three horsepower. Okay. So, I can I can I can do that. Right? I can type in for the mill, I can type in three horsepower. And the volts and amps on that I have to come back down here and look. E -e -e electrical AC power rating. Doesn't say, so I'd have to I'd have to put that in to find out. 
let's see if it tells me down here power i can get 230 volts or kva well that's another way to do it i can go 230 volts with 4 kva 230 that's on the mill 230 volts 4 kva so what is this amps are kva times a thousand divided by volts equals kva times 1000 divided by the volts 17 and then i could go back and get my power off of that okay so that's how you're going to do it there's all your formulas and everything up here. Now, when I get down to my air handler, it's a little bit different. You have already figured out how many tons your air handlers are. So you'll write down, let's say in Z1, I had a one ton air handler. And I've given you the equation, 3.5 kVA per ton. So that's one ton is 3.5 kVA. If it were two tons, of course, it would be twice that. Two times that equals two times 3.5. Well, it equals whatever is over here times 3.5, 7 kVA. And so then I can start figuring out my kVA. Now, normally, you get to choose, but most air handlers run on 230 so you can find your horsepower and your amps from that here's the calculation and here's your estimator so that's how you're going to fill this out you're just getting information right now you're going to use this information later on to figure out what size power panels to put in there we go, electrical load data for equipment.